Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody uh, is doing well. So I, I woke up today, I, I was already up in about about a quarter to five, five o'clock in the morning. I just I couldn't sleep and um, I kind of, I, I looked at the futures, they're up 300 points. I looked at, uh, you know, just kind of the pre-market movers. And this is again, keep this in mind, this is five o'clock in the morning. Uh, for whatever reason, I just couldn't sleep. So I woke up very, very early today and the Dow futures were up like 350. Uh, Tesla was up like the $820 a share, right? And, and all I kept on thinking to myself was, well, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm dead tired. My eyes are bleeding. I'm really going to need a lot of coffee today. Okay, that's the first thing I thought about. And, and the reason why I, I'm, I'm bringing this to, to your attention is in, in this type of tape, you got to be very, very alert. Okay, you, you, you have to be incredibly on the ball. The, the price action that we're seeing right now, not just in uh, Tesla, we'll get to Tesla in a second, but there's, it's such aggressive action that you really need to stay sharp and, and be on the ball because if you're not, uh, forget about the, the idea of linear bull market and all that good stuff. This market is unforgiving. I mean, it really, really is unforgiving. And for traders who are, are trying to pick tops and trying to pick bottoms and everything in between, you'll, you'll soon to come to realize that the market, again, will, will only take you um, as far as your ability to stay solvent. So you could be the smartest guy in the room, but if the market dictates price action to be completely the opposite of what you think, usually the smartest guys in the rooms are the ones that go broke first. And you could completely see this with this irrational tape that we're seeing now, okay? Uh, Friday, it wasn't, it's like it never happened. The 600 point drop uh, in the market yesterday went up about 50% of its losses only to close up 25% of its losses from the previous day. And today, just like nothing, the Dow was up almost 500 at one point, completely like, like it, 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 nothing happened. And it, it's amazing. Um, it's one of the more unique markets um, I think I've seen. I, I think that's a very, very fair, uh, fair way to say it. So when you come in every single day, and again, I think a lot of people also got caught short last night just because uh, how much of the highs, how far from the highs we came. So a lot of people got, got killed as well. Uh, they were short overnight. And, and again, they had every right to, but um, what we're seeing is truly um, a unique market. Um, I, I was on the phone in the live webinar with, with, with my friend, Mike, and you know we were just kind of talking about you know how the internet craze was. And you know, it really is amazing. It really is amazing how much attention there was to 10, 15, 20 stocks a day, like we're seeing with a Tesla today. And I, I think what we discussed what we discussed last night in the video about how there's so many fear of missing out traders. And again, you, you saw crazy moves today all day in Tesla. At one point, uh, the stock was up like 200. I don't even remember what, what the exact numbers were. You had bets. You have million, multi-million dollar bets um, on the Tesla name weeklies. You know, somebody was betting a thousand on the weeklies, 1180s on the weeklies. I mean, just just crazy, just crazy. People are talking about, hey, you know, the 1500 calls are only four dollars. I mean, 1500 calls. That's it. 800 points from now. So I, I think a lot of people got. Um, you know, I think a lot of people really, really saw kind of a really ugly reality today. I really do. Um, and when you look, for example, what a Tesla did, and this is why, I, I, you know, I talked about it last night in the video. You know, I, I just didn't want any piece of it. You know, and when you, when you have uh, when you have a stock that's trending, 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 and then drops a hundred points within a few minutes. I mean, the, the shorts got squeezed today. The longs got killed today. Again, anticipating a thousand dollar move today. Uh, for tomorrow, people are saying, oh, this is going to be a thousand in, in the overnight. Maybe, maybe it will not. But it, again, you really quickly see how 
how fast your mortality, right? How fast your mortality could, could quickly just come to an end in, in, a, in a market like this. And it's a very aggressive tape. And, and again, um, I, I said yesterday, I, I want nothing to do with Tesla. I really don't because, you know, it, it's, it's just, you can't control. Okay, it's, try, it's like trying to control uh, a, a wild animal, like a lion or a tiger in your living room. You know, if, they're, if they want to eat your food, okay? And that's what's going to happen. And again, if you're trading this and if you, if you watch these videos and say, hey, you know, it can't happen to me, it can't happen to me, it's going to happen, okay? And we saw exactly firsthand uh, what can happen in this thing. Um, and it was very, very aggressive. Uh, so overall market, uh, again, you know, very, very strong. Like I said in last night's video, there's, there's easier ways uh, to get into the goal line. It was a little bit of a choppier session today. Netflix was good on a delayed reaction. Um, Roku was good. Like I, I caught, I, I was in Netflix say three times, right? Three times. I finally caught the move, right? I was in Roku today, right? I was in Roku today, caught the initial move, uh, caught the initial move, uh, got stopped out, break even on the balance, kind of watch it move up a little bit. They get killed and watch it move a little bit. So a lot of these names today, even though they made good moves and beyond put in a really, really good move. We'll talk about the individual pivots in a second. As we discussed you know, today in the live webinar, you know, it wasn't like the, the, the prototype, you buy Netflix at this number and you're putting up a $5 candle. It was more like you're buying Netflix, it goes up a dollar, dollar and a half, sells off a dollar. Goes back up another dollar and a half, sells off a dollar. And it, that's kind of what we kept on seeing. Again, it turned out fine. The trade turned out to be fine. Um, the day turned out to be fine. It was a pretty decent day. But it, again, there's so many hiccups because again, there, people are, are not seeing, right? People are not seeing uh, the rotational balance that is necessary for the market to get good liquidity. It's all fixated on Tesla. And when you have bystanders talking about the stock instead of trading the stock, other names are going to suffer, right? Let me really realistically, if you look, if you look the way Netflix today traded, right? Um, I got long. It was a 50 cent spread. I, again, two days in a row, 50 cent spread, then it finally went, right? 50, 60 cent spread, it finally went. Same thing on Roku. Uh, you know, there was a big spread. It danced around a little bit, finally exploded. Same thing with BYND. It danced around a little bit, finally exploded. So it, the market is very, very strong. Price action is very strong. The bulls are in, in command, but God almighty, man. Today, it felt to me, and it, it was fine. I mean, it was a decent day. It was, it was solid. It was fine. Whatever adjective you want to use. But man, oh man, it's only Tuesday. It's, it's only freaking Tuesday. And, and it's amazing how so much stuff is going on and how tired you could really get engulfed uh, in price action like this. But again, that's why we said yesterday, this is the greatest reality show uh, that's not on TV. So again, going into tomorrow, I mean, if you're looking for kind of a sell area on Tesla, you have to wait for those lower highs and you have to wait for this whole channel uh, to be confirmed. Again, maybe it could be in the low 40s, maybe it could be in the 30s. Again, this is something we definitely want to watch tomorrow. But I mean, how, how many shares can you control this thing? Again, if you're trading the equity side of this thing, it's not like you're making an options bet, right? It's not like you, you have covered puts and you say to yourself, well, I'm risking X, okay? If you're trading on the equity side, again, how much, how many shares can you control? How many, how much pain can you sit there without, you know, without really having blood flow out of your eyes and, and passing a kidney stone? These, these are real, real questions. And again, I see all over social media, you know, people just say, oh, I'm long Tesla, I'm short Tesla. Do you guys realize this thing's taking $30, $40 swings? I mean, what, I mean, what are people trading three shares? I, it, it's the most amazing thing. Look, if you want to be right, if you want to be a color, a color commenter, social media is the right place to be. If you're going to trade these things, really understand the defined risk or the lack of it that we're up against here. And uh, you know, like I, there was a pivot I put into the live web and I said, hey, this this damn thing gets above 920. I, I think it could go. You know, this thing runs up 40 points. Again, if you, even if you're long from 920, how can you sit in short on down to 40 points? Again, there's a difference between trading and there's a difference between uh, fantasy world. I, I don't know where everybody lives in, but again, uh, I personally sat out Tesla today. I'm very happy I did uh, better attention and better areas of value. And let's talk about tomorrow. Uh, let's talk about tomorrow. Um, yeah, I mean, look, it's going to be a defined pivot on if there's a backside move again, don't think for a second that Tesla's going to open down, you know, down and then go straight down 150 points. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. There's going to be a lot of green to red, red to green, green to red, and then finally 
this whole channel needs to be confirmed. It's going to take some time. It's going to be, take some time. So if you are an eager beaver and you want to turn around and say, I want to be sure Tesla, yeah, so did everybody else the last 400 points. Just relax. Let the, let the channels confirm uh, and let's, let it start putting in multiple lower highs in the 60-minute channel. Once it confirms the 60, that's a whole different story. At least you have a defined edge and a max pain. So uh, keep an eye on that. But, you know, some, some decent pivots for sure. Uh, ZM, 9150, 92. We talked about this pre-market. Um, you know, it didn't, again, didn't put up a huge move, but a dollar, dollar and change uh, before a nasty roll, you know, a nasty pull on that. Uh, Netflix, uh, 362. Jesus, I was in this thing three times today. I finally got it right. Uh, but 362 uh, and two out of those three trades are flat. So, but then I finally got it right on my third, um, on my first, on my third try. Uh, it was just so, it was just trading so ridiculous and, until it finally exploded. So here was Netflix. Um, here was Netflix, that 362 area right here. We talked about this area and finally, literally finally on the third candle, it finally went. So it turned out to be a pretty good trade, but, but good versus great. Mm, maybe not so much, but again, it is what it is. Um, so we talked about, uh, we talked about, um, we talked about, uh, ZM, we talked about Netflix, uh, NVIDIA, you know, good news came out. Um, we got our, we got our news feed pretty early, uh, on the squawk box. Um, NVIDIA was getting into the streaming, uh, video game business, $4.99 a month. We caught that 46, uh, 46.50 pivot. Uh, I still like it. I still like it. I think the stock tomorrow goes. The macro break over this, is over that 50 area, but a pretty good move there. Uh, NOW is just a beast. We talked about this pre-market. Uh, NOW 448 needs to build and exploded. You know, exploded up to that 355 area. Uh, AXM didn't really do anything. Uh, AXSM it traded to like 95. And again, don't. Don't let this candle fool you. It didn't do anything in the, in the morning. It went up to like 95, 95 and a half, and kind of really reversed. I, I didn't even see it go back up, so um, I had no, no interest in this thing. Uh, Rite Aid stopped right at right in between, uh, excuse me, right, stopped right in between this uh, 12, 90, 13 area. It really needs to confirm uh, this 13. BYND was a big move. Um, BYND indeed was a big move. Uh, we talked about this 109 needs to build. Um, so here is BYND. Right. Look at this is this is what I mean. This is what we talk about sneaky channels when you hear me talking about it. So the top of the supply here was right here, 108.80, and so it needed to build this area. And again, a lot of people trade off daily channels. So uh, somebody asked me today, well, how come 118 is not the spot? Again, it is the spot macro, but there are channels within channels. It's called the meat uh, of the move. And here was the 109 pivot and the big move, really, really big move, went all the way up to uh, 14 on BYND. RVNC, I didn't even watch it. Um, RVNC, I didn't even watch it. What did it, what did it do today? Nah, nothing really. It basically stayed. It basically uh, just reclaimed the rebound and uh, just stood in the same area. Nothing really there. RVNC, uh, Roku, yeah, Roku was good. I traded Roku as well. Uh, Roku, we talked about the 131 break. Uh, we talked about 131 break. He was the 131 break. And the trade is high as the 33. I kind of like it. If this thing reclaims 33, uh, I definitely like it. But that was a good move. I mean, it was a, it was a decent move. I sold two thirds on the way up, uh, and, and my last third I, I got broke, broke, broken even. Uh, Netflix sold is good. So here again, here and here's my point, right? Here's my point. So uh, I go. I feel dirty saying this again. I didn't take this trade. I, I said this in the beginning of the day. I'm not trading Tesla. I, I, again, I think. I think you need to be in control of these trades to make money. And again, I, I know I wasn't going to do any size. I, I knew I wasn't going to sit in the trade for 30, 40 points. That's ridiculous. I never do. So why should I start now? Um, so I, again, I just left it on the table. So I basically said, hey, look, this damn thing feels incredibly dirty, even to say out loud. Uh, 920 for build. You could see 940s. Uh, I said, new traders, stay away. It's, again, it's just not for you guys. It, it, it blew through 940s and went to like 960s. But again, if you weren't careful, and, and I say this, and I say this uh, every day, man, you, you nobody's going to tap you on the shoulder and say, "Hey, by the way, this is going to come." And this came very, very aggressively. So, um, you know, again, hopefully you guys are all safe. And now it's back to uh, $900 a share. Um, you know, I, I like I, I like a few things for tomorrow. Okay, I, I, you know, primarily, uh, primarily, I, I like beta for tomorrow. I love Amazon for tomorrow. Um, I think that looks great. Uh, let me give you guys some non-beta names that I like for tomorrow. Uh, this space looks pretty good. Uh, big move, you know, big, big move, consolidation. It needs to really reclaim this $20 area, right? If it reclaims 20, um, I think this thing can go. 
Um, I like this SNDX. Uh, that looks pretty good as well. Again, I don't know what the hell this thing is, but if it starts building over 11, uh, this thing can go as well. Um, everything else is beta. You know, everything else is beta. I like Amazon on dips on rising 60 minute support. I like Apple on dips. I like Nvidia on dips. I like Netflix on dips. Uh, after the close, uh, you had Disney earnings that uh, looked pretty good. We'll see if it affects Netflix tomorrow. Uh, Chipotle, apparently, they are selling a lot of Chipotles and burritos and everything in between. So we'll see what happens there. So please get to morning strategy early uh, tomorrow. We'll discuss all the beta pivots. Uh, crazy. Again, it's only Tuesday. Guys, God bless. I'll see you all tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.